Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about aggregate sources in data page. Let's get started into the topic. So aggregate sources are introduced uh, as one of the data page source in uh, Pega since 8.4 version. So mainly the purpose of aggregated sources is to consolidate data from multiple sources and populate them to a single page or into a single page list structure. And these uh, sources can be of multiple types. So first, if you create a data page, so this is one of the data page that I have configured. Once you create a database, here you can see source, right? So here if you go and scroll below, you can see aggregate sources. And you can give some name as a... This aggregate source name can be of uh, respect to your particular uh, database representation. Suppose if it is a customer record, you can give some customer info like that. You can add many sources over here in aggregate uh, sources. The order you have added, the results will be appended one after the other in the same lines. So here the sources can be connected, data transform, report definition, lookup, activity and robotic automation. Okay. And for every uh, report definition or some data transform or some for some lookup, you can see the options will be changed. So for lookup, you can't find any response data transform. But report definition, you have to specify one response data transform mandatorily. And this is an activity. So here also just you will specify system name, but you no need to add any response data transform. For connector also, you have to add a response data transform once you configure the connector. And uh, let's see with an example. I have a data table where account information is there with customer ID records. Like Cust256 is having this uh, particular as credit card is false and he has e savings is false. And this address information where this uh, belongs to Cust256 only, where address name is Chennai and address line 2 is India. Now, if I ask uh, a requirement like I need to get a customer record. In the database, um, all these will be populated, needs to be populated one after the other. So they can be two ways. One way is like we can uh, use uh, these respective data pages separately and we can loop into the results and we can append it. But uh, if you want to make that in a single page and uh, you want it to be used uh, with multiple combinations, suppose uh, in future you might get requirement like you need to hit some connectors and you should get uh, exact uh, pin code or something. So you don't need to again write another data transform to look in the results and all. That's why uh, here I have configured a data page, customer record with a page structure and uh, sources. First I am adding account information. Next I am fetching address information. These are the post data transforms. And these are the parameters. I am passing customer ID as a parameter. Let's run how it is behaving. So I am passing cust256. You can see here PY source page. This is source page number one. and. Uh, these are aggregated sources. This is the OTB database. So if you configure more aggregated sources, you can see more results, uh, more page lists over here. So it will be showing like what is the source number, this source number one, and this source identifier. So from where this particular data is being uh, mapped. Okay. You can see PY direction is Chennai and PY is stack default. So I have mapped uh, to these two OTB properties. 
how I have done is first I have written two report definitions separately in these classes where I am passing parameter as a customer ID I am getting account information and I am getting address information and these are the response data transform so the results of this particular first uh, report definition will be store will be uh, saved under data source PX results so as I know for this particular scenario there will be only one record for customer 56 I have given uh, directly index as one now as credit card I am mapping to PYE stack to the primary page and this is post address info here also I am doing the same address line 1 I am mapping to direction that's why now uh, our particular combination is as record is false for customer 56 and uh, address line 1 is Chennai that's why we got results like that let's turn for second record you can see Hyderabad and has characters is true so in this way uh, we have achieved aggregate sources uh, in data page you try with different combinations it might be useful in real time scenarios where you have multiple uh, sources for sourcing a page or a page list property and for this uh, load management everything depends on the scope of your data page only it doesn't affect based on this aggregate sources hope you have learned a new concept today please comment your experience uh, if you have already used this aggregate sources in your project please feel free to share this video to your colleague thanks for watching this video please follow the steps subscribe share like and comment